All right, so we're coming up on Halloween, and this year marks an important anniversary in the story of Galileo Galilei. This year, on Halloween, it marks 30 years since the Vatican reversed its position on Galileo. On October 31st, 1992, the Roman Catholic Church admitted it had been wrong to condemn Galileo. Galileo was well respected in the science community eventually, and according to Stephen Hawking, Galileo probably bears more of the responsibility for the birth of modern science than anybody else, and Albert Einstein called him the father of modern science. Now, speaking of Stephen Hawking and Albert Einstein, point this out that's already been pointed out by a lot of people. After Stephen Hawking died a few years back, people noticed some strange uh, quote-unquote coincidence connecting these three. Starting with the number 108, because Galileo supposedly died on January 8th. You can write that date 1 slash 08, like the number 108. Stephen Hawking was born on January 8th, and it just so happens that Albert Einstein died on the 108th day of the year. I guess I should also mention that from Galileo's date of death, January 8th, 108, going forwards a span of one month, eight days, like 108, it brings you to what would be his next birthday. Or I guess, put another way, um, Galileo was born a span of one month, eight days after the date 108. And again, he would die on January 8th. And if I failed to mention, well, remember I brought up Halloween and how this Halloween marks an important anniversary with Galileo. The Vatican reversed its position on him. Well, Halloween, going forward a span of 108 days, brings you to February 15th, which is Galileo's birthday. February 15th is a date which can be written 215, like the number 215. The word geometry, if we use a capital G, Geometry equals 215 in at least two different ciphers. These case-sensitive ciphers, at this point, they're labeled capitals mixed and reverse caps mixed. You can find these ciphers at gematronator.com. So geometry equals 215. Galileo was supposedly born on 215. He died on January 8th, 108. Geometry equals 108. In two different ciphers that we know of, the English ordinal cipher and the reverse English ordinal cipher. Geometry equals 108. You guys know this bit about the number 108 connecting the moon, the earth, and the sun. So it's been said that if you measure the diameter of the moon, the diameter of the Earth and the diameter of the Sun is some interesting quote-unquote coincidences here. From the Moon to the Earth is supposedly 108 moons. From the Earth to the Sun is supposedly 108 suns. And the diameter of the Sun is supposedly 108 Earths. I've talked about this before, and I've shown this image in, in at least one other video about the 108 and how it connects with the number 418. You think about 418 as a date, April 18th, 418. April 18th is typically the 108th day of the year, and Albert Einstein supposedly died on April 18th, 418. Which brings me to Pi Day. 
It's labeled that because it's 314, March 14th, 3.14 is pi. Albert Einstein was supposedly born on Pi Day, March 14th, 314. And this number connects these other men of science. Uh, we use reverse caps, added cipher. I'm not sure how I feel about these names of these new ciphers, but um, they're not new ciphers, but Galileo Galilee, the capital G is there, equals 314, the case sensitive cipher. Right, and 314 could remind you of Pi or Pi Day, March 14, 3.14. In another case sensitive cipher, labeled capitals added, if, if we spell out the words 3.14 in all capital letters, 3.14 equals 666. And if you notice off to the left, I have a calculation Pi Day, 1879. Supposedly Albert Einstein was born Pi Day, 1879. If we use that as a starting point and go forward 666 days, that brings you to January 8th. And remember, Stephen Hawking was born on January 8th, and Galileo Galilei died on January 8th. Right, 108, 108. And we can... <laughs> Not everybody's ready for these these methods here, but I've talked about the way that you can type out letters backwards and reflect it. It has to do with the fact that, let's say the word six, for instance, S-I-X. Backwards, when you like reflect it in a mirror, the S backwards doesn't look like a proper S, but the I and the X do. So if you go to Gematronator and type out 666, and you can go to a website called flipyourtext.com, or other websites will do this, but it will invert your letters and whatnot, flip them upside down. Anyways, the S is not readable, so it has no value, but the I and the X have value. So if we use the Fibonacci cipher, 666, Minus the S is IX, 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 equals 108. All right, if you type, in, type out the words 108, so you just flip your text, um, and you make it like it's a, upside down, right? Um, a bunch of those letters are not readable. And if you use the standard cipher, they used to be called... English extended, but anyways, uh, the cipher is located at the bottom. 108, just as you see it there, equals 108. Right, and that connected with the sun and the moon, the earth. It, it's a very important number. Remember, geometry equals 108, the most simple English cipher, um, English ordinal. 108 is very important for many reasons. Again, it connects with 418, April 18th, typically the 108th day of the year. The 418 is, if you look at images of the cover of the Libra Al, Crowley's book there, Book of the Law, he has some Roman numerals, the only standard Arabic numerals, Arabic numbers, uh, 418. And I've talked about this before. I'll leave some links. I mean, it seems like Aleister Crowley was a pretty creepy dude, but he talked about reading backwards, writing backwards, and things like that. And I will say, looking into Gematria, there's some validity to looking at these letters backwards in a mirror and uh, excluding the values that, excluding the letters that don't look like proper letters. Case in point, 418. If you type that out in all capital letters and look at it in a mirror, it's going to look similar to what you see on the screen here. And with the satanic cipher of all, of all ciphers, the satanic cipher, the words 418, just as you see it, equals 418.
and then type out the words 418 in all capital letters using the reverse prime cipher this time flip it upside down okay you could just look at your phone maybe if there's a way to flip it upside down you can see this actually looks like the words 418 but not every letter is readable when it's upside down gematronator will not calculate certain letters when they when they don't appear like proper letters of course well, anyways the words 418 just as you see it equals 314 we're talking about pi and pi day albert einstein even the words 314 flip it backwards like it's in a mirror just as you see here if you can flip your text type that in many of the letters do not have value so you're left with a sum of 666 in the latin for agrippa cipher and i think i mentioned this but just to repeat if i have, if I have not um, starting from pi day Go forward 666 days. It seems like a leap year would throw this off, but um, starting from Albert Einstein's birthday, again, he was born Pi Day in the year 1879. Go forward 666 days. That brings you to January 8th, 108. Um, Stephen Hawking, born January 8th, 108. Galileo, Galileo Galilei, died supposedly January 8th, 108. And, again, Galileo Galilee with the capital G is equals 314. I find this next bit a bit interesting. I'm not sure what to make of it yet. Leave some comments below if, you, you know, something comes to mind. But think about 314 and Galileo Galilee. And remember, he connects with Albert Einstein. And look at the date of birth and the date of death with Einstein. He was born on Pi Day, died April 18th, 4, 4 slash 18. So if we use Galileo's actual date of birth and go forward 314 days. Remember he has that gematria, 314. But use his birthday, go forward 314 days. That brings you to Christmas Day. Okay. Now use the same date of birth, February 15th, the year 1564, go backwards, a span of 418 days bringing you to Christmas Day. So these 418 backwards brings you to Christmas, and from his birthday going forward, 314 brings you to Christmas. And then, you know, of course this connects with Einstein, because Einstein was, he died on 418, was born on 314. 418 is uh, April 18th is the typically the 108th day of the year. Remember this 108 connects all three of these men of science. Galileo died on 108. Hawking was born on 108, and Einstein died on the 108th day of the year. And I'm sure there's more to talk about, but. The big takeaway really was because this is Halloween, really. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, um, Halloween, Halloween. So yeah, from Halloween, going forward a span of 108 days brings you to Galileo's next birthday. <laughs>